Hi everyone, my name's Sam and I'm a solutions consultant here at Iterable. Today, I'm here to talk you through our workflow builder. Iterable's workflow builder allows you to create sophisticated, multi-step campaign journeys for your end users that will give your marketing team the ability to reach the right users at the right time with the right message. Our workflow builder utilizes an intuitive drag and drop interface to allow your marketing team to quickly make changes, analyze how individual components are behaving, and add to the experience they are working toward creating with your end users. What campaigns could benefit from being moved to a workflow? Campaigns that could benefit from multiple touch points and campaigns that could use additional lift and optimization. A great workflow can either be extremely simple and highly targeted or be very sophisticated with a multitude of separate paths for end users. Ultimately, the best workflows are going to be the ones that have a specific goal in mind for the conversions and KPIs that your business is driving towards, because the flexibility of our workflow tool will allow you to achieve whatever those goals might be. Jumping into the console, I have an example abandoned cart series here that I've created for an e-commerce customer. Multi-touch campaigns like this are going to come in handy with the upcoming holiday rush to ensure that you're converting users who may be overwhelmed or distracted by all the other Black Friday deals they are receiving. From top to bottom, this tool will give your marketing team the ability to completely control the user's journey without the help of your engineering team. At the top, we have the trigger node, which gives you a multitude of ways to kick off a campaign. For this case, we've chosen an abandoned cart series to start the campaign. From here, your marketing team can easily define how long they want to wait to kick off the next step in the journey. The value here is that you can make sure that messages are being sent at the right time for the end users to ultimately increase their chances of engagement. Quickly match the time zone of the message sent or delay it from a specific time field on the end user's profile, such as the last login time. Now we can choose to send a follow-up message. While I have chosen email as the channel here, this can easily be any of the channels available at your disposal. Before we attempt to re-engage the user, we will wait a predefined period of time. This customer had determined that weekend messages tend to be ignored, so we chose to skip those days of the week to ensure the highest odds of user engagement. Next in line, our filter node gives your team the ability to quickly create sophisticated segmentations that with other platforms will either require extensive engineering work or time to implement. Now we have defined the exact criteria for which path the end user will now go down. In this example, we have chosen to check if the user has opened the message sent to them. And further down the line, this can easily be used to check if a user has completed a purchase. From the filter node, your marketing team now has the ability to determine what channel, under what circumstances, the end user will receive their next touch point. If they haven't checked their email, then they will receive messages from different channels to try to engage them in a more optimal way. While we can choose to go down and re-engage users in the workflow, we now have the start to an excellent series that will drive up your conversion rates. Thanks for tuning in, and if you would like to learn more about our workflow, please reference our guide below. And if you want to talk about this in further detail, please reach out to us and our experts would love to chat with you.